One of the reasons I got into cardstock modeling is I wanted to be able to take a flat piece of paper and turn it into something that would catch people's eye, that would give me some pleasure that I'd accomplish something, and it looked real. So recently, I stumbled onto another tool that would take me further down the path of creating more realistic looking structures. So what was that? Let's take a look. The tool I found was a metal tube squeezer. You can all see that. Well, what's a metal tube squeezer look like? In this case, it's pretty swanky. It's got knurled rollers that match up and a key that you, and it, basically it's designed for toothpaste tubes, whatever, to squeeze more stuff out of it. But I saw a video where some people were using this to create, um, to corrugate cardboard, I should say corrugate cardstock. All right, uh, let's take a look at what, what the res results are. First, this is called a, a Silver City Toolhouse, a Clever Models, and I'll show you how to get there. It's a freebie. And you can see it's very flat. There is no relief, you know, on the paper at all. And here it is. Now this is the, the back side of the building. That's the front. And this is taking this base sheet only in the rear of the building inside and then adding corrugated sheeting to that and um, overlapping it so it looks like it does in real life and you can see the relief. I think that's pretty slick. And there's different ways you can achieve that. Another thing I did uh, was use the same technique but in this case this was for the roofing and because I wanted to do it with one piece of paper what I did is I printed the paper on both sides and also I created this so it would overlap from side to side and as well as would overlap one row on top of the top. Now let's take a look at the underside and you'll see what I'm talking about. You can see the printed underside which is a different um, design of corrugation. So, how do we get there? Well, let's try this tool and see how it works out. So to get started and to be able to print uh, an outside uh, um, corrugated shingle and an inside one, which is different, it's not rusted, it's just dirty and smudgy, I went to the Clever Models website, which you can see right here, what I did was is I went to where it shows the get textures. I clicked on this and then you can scroll through all these different textures as you can see them coming up on the screen. And then what I ended up doing, I found these that I liked. One was the very rusty corrugated steel and I think they have another one on there. As well as on the underside, the O scale corrugated steel. And I think these are downloadable for about $2. And then what I did, I printed on each side. And you can fool around on your printer. Each one set up a, a little differently, but to get this close enough that it covers both sides. So what's the next step? Now we go to our handy dandy tool here. And let's see what it looks like on the overhead. And in this case, you can either, if you're right-handed or if you're left-handed, you can figure out how to feed this. So one of the things I found out is it helps if you provide yourself a lead, a blank lead, to get this started, and also one at the end. So now, and what I'll do is I keep it towards, I'm right-handed, so I'll keep it towards the one side to keep it registered and try to keep this perpendicular. And then make sure you keep a firm grip in clamping this together. 
and slowly. Don't go fast because if you do it slowly, it will start to, to angle on you, which you don't want. And then you can see it can do this now. So it takes a little bit of practice and keep it crimped. And then what I'll do is feed it down that way. Still tightening it. Let's straighten it up a little bit more. Just like that. And so on and so forth. So now I'll open this up. And let's see what we get here. Not too shabby. You can see the corrugation. There. Bring this into view. That's an example of corrugation. Here, here are some that I've already done on that using the same exact um, download. Let's take a look at the underside of these. And you can see that pretty well as well. So that's that's my little trick. So this is the home page for Clever Models website. And what I did is, I, you saw before the textures, but now, if you want to have a, uh, a nice project that's free, this Silver City Toolhouse is free and it's complex. I'll show you the project in just one second. But what you do is you go to freebies, and in this case, you'll see it right here silver city toolhouse and I click that and there's all there's different these different PDF files to download okay what you're seeing here is the isometric renderings of this kit that's fantastic you've got corrugated uh, metal roofing and you can you can see how rusty that is that's all included and then you got the corrugated metal sides great foundation you've got relief in the doors um, uh, nice uh, wooden flooring in here and uh, the trim and you can even print on the inside and cover that if you want to open this up and I, I've done that and, uh, and, and completed this whole model and it's free you can't complain at all so for ten dollars it's amazing and the um, the link's going to be, you know, just below the video on YouTube. It's worth every penny. It's going to inspire you to do different things. And what my plans are, what's, what's going to happen in the future for me? I'm starting to do, use three Ds. And I'll talk, I'm going to have a video all about this project here. But my plan is just to create corrugated buildings and roofing just like you've seen here with the lattice work to make it look real and then when you look inside you know you can see more relief um, here's this isn't corrugated but but you can see you know um, where you've got a relief on the side of the building and then we've got like two by ten structures for the side walls and inside that so so it's just not a flat piece of paper uh, it's fantastic and you can use Elmer's glue you can use uh, Elaine's tacky glue you can use any kinds of CA glue I think Bob Smith makes a good one of that or paper and have fun so until next time come up with some ideas for other videos you want me to do or share things that you've learned and I hope this helps and thanks so much for watching in the past and giving me interest to make more of these. Take care.